Hello children, in previous class we learned about different types of communities. Now we are going to learn more about rural communities. I gave you homework about agricultural and non-agricultural activities and these are the answers for those who didn't write it. So first agricultural activities, what are the activities? We will just see. Cultivation of soil. We make the soil more soft so that the crops can grow faster and then cropping is sowing the seeds to grow and then farming farming is uh, plugging the uh, farming and plugging operations are the same and harvesting harvesting or the cutting of the crops after it grown well now non agricultural activities non agricultural activities are blacksmithing making the metals into objects and smithing uh, products like iron rods everything we use in the daily life and then carpentry making uh, furnitures from woods or the carpentries and basket weaving the baskets we use in daily life they are woven by some of the people in the uh, rural communities and weaving weaving is making fabrics from yarns that you that you will learn in the future so weaving is make uh, converting yarns into fabrics and fishery is growing and rearing fishes for for the purpose of eating and uh, more and more eggs so uh, pottery is making uh, clay products like pot and then making pots and uh, other so clay products and then so let's learn more about rural communities so in india there are 135 crore people in that peer, in that amount of population 72 percentage of population are living in rural communities what are the major jobs they have in rural communities is agricultural activities most 70 percentage of people in villages do agricultural activities rest of the people will do the rest of the jobs like pottery se poultry sericulture and all these jobs poultry is nothing but growing ends rearing them for the purpose of food and sericulture is for growing silk worms for the purpose of getting silk from the silk worms and then in here all the activities purely depend on rain water people in villages depend more on rain water and they build uh, things like pond so that they can save and harvest rain water like we do in here we do rain water harvesting in our terrace like right so likewise they are they build pond to make use of the water they get during the rainy season and what are the problems they face in the rural communities first one hygiene since they have lack of uh, instruments, they really lack hygiene. They don't have proper sanitation and proper toilets and all. So, hygiene is the first problem. And with lack of hygiene comes health problems. If you don't keep yourself and your surrounding clean, then you'll get health problems. And then education. Since there is only little number of colleges and uh, schools there, they are getting lack of education. And then jobs. There is no large companies like we do have in your right. So they lack jobs too. What are the policies given by government to overcome these problems in the rural communities? First one, Rogar, Yojana and Jahar Gramasam. Samruti Yojana. These are the two policies that are given by government to provide loans to the educated people in the villages. It provides loan to the ideas and the things they have they want to do. Then Sarva Shiksha Abhinaya. Sarva Shiksha Abhinaya is to provide education to people in the rural communities. 
it is done in collaboration with state government to provide quality education to all the people living in rural communities and then nirmala grama yojana this is for cleanliness this provides fresh toilets and sanitation everything to the people living in the rural communities so that they can have a better life and more a proper hygiene this is really important because they need proper hygiene to stay healthy right then ashraya yojana ashraya yojana is for people who don't have homes they provide temporary house and free sites for poor people so that they will get some home to live and then bhagya lakshmi yojana this is for girls children because people in that rural community they don't have knowledge of how to raise a girl children or uh, provide good care to her so this policy helps to provide education to girls children and provide them loans for their life now this will this raises two question uh, three questions first one what are the problems faced by people living in the rural communities as we know hygiene health education and jobs are the major problems for the people living in villages and then government policies to overcome the those problems so these are the pro policies that given by government and then urban communities we'll just start with this urban communities today in next class we'll see detail about it in urban urban communities or the communities where we are living so when you look at look around you what will you find you will find flats tall buildings and then what you will find traffics garbage industries companies so these are the things you will find in a urban community find about what are the jobs they will do in urban communities like your father will do some job right your mother or if you have any siblings working they will be doing a job right so find out what are the jobs people will be doing in the urban communities and we'll see you in the next class